Hey, good morning. We're starting out in the shop today. We got a couple of fields to rake. One, we've actually got some third crop we're raking up, uh, mostly alfalfa. Uh, and then we're heading to a grass second crop field we're going to rake up. So we made it up here to our first field we're going to look at today. Uh, this is third crop uh, alfalfa grass mix hay. So the field that we're at, um, I had pointed it out a couple days ago in our other haying video. And when I said that, I was right up here at the top of that hill. You know, so we did that field the other day. And this is that other field that we rent. And I said the view up here was pretty darn awesome too. So I mean, you can, you can literally see for miles up here. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool place to come up to. And it's, we're just about a half mile up from the farm. Uh, looking at the hay though, uh, it's definitely nice and crunchy on top. And there's just a little bit of moisture underneath. I mean, this looks really, really green, uh, but there's not a whole lot of moisture in there. So we're gonna rake it up. There's a nice little breeze today, especially up on this hill. And uh, it possibly is either gonna dry out enough today and bale it later this afternoon or um, or we're gonna kick it over again or fluff it up tomorrow and bail it then. And today we're just raking doubles. We're not gonna try for fours. Uh, some of this field's a little thinner than the other stuff, but uh, where it's nice and thick, it'd be way too big if we did fours. So we made it up to our second field. Uh, it's just below the field I was just on. This one is all grass, um, nice fine uh, orchard grass, uh, a little bit of brome in here too. It's a little thin, but once we get four rows put together, it's, it, it'll make some bales back here. And this year with the being a little dry around here, the every, every bale is gonna count this year. So um, we'll take a look at this stuff. So this stuff did get, this did get a little bit of rain on it, like an eighth of an inch, but it dried it dried out right away, and um, it's still gonna make some nice second crop hay. Um, this is just about seven acres or so, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's still gonna make some decent hay. Uh, calves aren't gonna complain about it one bit, so let's get this one raked up. and. That's a wrap on this field. All right, before we uh, go up into our last little two acre field up by the neighbors here, I uh, wanna, you might've seen the short I put out yesterday um, with, our, with our fat steers. Uh, I put them in a little bit of a different lot uh, back here that had a bunch of weeds and grass and stuff growing up. And I'm gonna put them back there again, let them keep gnawing that down and 
stuff like that just to kind of clean it up um, we usually do that during the summer with with some of the animals that still stick around in the yard but I'm gonna open a couple of gates up here Yeah, and these guys will these guys will play around. They'll explore a little bit. But they're looking real nice. Um, most of these guys are spoken for for this winter. And uh, I'm sure they'll make a lot of people pretty happy. But they are doing definitely a nice job. field we're going to do today it's a little two acre field not too far away from the farm the farm's right down there Take a look at the hay if we dig in here. Now this stuff was raked up. We raked this up uh, three hours ago now and it is dry as a bone. Oh, and we don't want that. This this hill is very rocky.
pretty thin on this field, but this is our last field, the second crop. This is our last hay field of 2023. So. With this three-quarter bale, not quite a four by five or four by four and a half. This is more like four by four. Uh, 2023 Hain is a wrap, uh, but we're probably just going to end up giving this one to the steers because, well, you know, guys like him earned it. You know, and they're uh, we've been pushing them on some uh, pretty grubby grass hay for the last uh, few weeks, and we've been trying to give them a little bit of the small rounds and stuff that are left so these guys are pretty happy we'll give that to them tomorrow they'll keep ripping through their their grass and stuff in the back there but uh yeah that's a wrap for 2023 hey